have, and I'll, I'll go ahead and announce the, uh, the next three. Uh, it'll be Cynthia Kilmer, Richard Jesse, Jessica Newton, I'll do four, and um, Kaylin LaHue. So first we'll go with Cynthia Kilmer. Good evening, my name is Cindy Kilmer. My address is on file with the clerk. I'm here tonight to speak on behalf of myself and approximately 1,500 staff members to ask you to reconsider and rescind the resolution adopted in September of 2021 requiring your unvaccinated staff and staff that refuses to disclose their vaccination status to be weekly tested. Those of us here tonight hope to be the voices of all those who object to this discriminatory policy and more importantly, the children that we serve that will be devastated by the consequences of this resolution. We ask you, if students are the top priority, why would you threaten to remove their teachers amidst a critical year of recovery? If, you're va if you value your staff and their roles, why would you attempt to enforce a policy that discriminates against and violates the privacy of those who have given so much to make in-person school possible? If anyone, regardless of vaccination, can contract and transfer the virus, why is only one demographic of employees threatened with termination? Since federal and staff guidance has made clear that mandates such as this are unlawful and unconstitutional, what authority does Prince William County have to continue down this path? These questions and many others have been asked for months and still go unanswered. Since passing this resolution, we have taken time to research and consider the impact on this, on, of this on our lives, our schools, our communities, and our students. Have you? Let's take a moment to understand the resolution. In almost five months since it was passed, so much has changed. In fact, the resolution itself was founded on the information that, of, and policies that no longer exist. The resolution states tens of thousands of elementary and middle school students are not yet eligible for the vaccination, but vaccines were made available for these children ages 5 to 11 at the end of October. The resolution states the urgency to expand vaccinations is increasing as the highly contagious Delta variant spreads, but Delta is no longer the dominant variant and Omicron affects both vaccinated and unvaccinated individuals alike with much milder symptoms. The resolution states executive director number 18 encourages other employers to require their employees to be fully vaccinated. But this directive was rescinded by Governor Youngkin's Executive Directive Number 2, and multiple legal proceedings over the last five months have deemed such mandates by employers to be illegal and unconstitutional. The resolution cites a public health emergency from August 21st of 2021, and guidance from the Virginia Department of Health put, but the public health emergency was terminated by Governor Youngkin's executive order in January of 2022. And the VDH's current interim guidance says that testing should be offered, not required, for unvaccinated teachers and staff. When passing this resolution, it appears little thought was given as to how it would be implemented. For example, if I test on Wednesday, results are not available until Friday, and I'm available and able to return to work the following Tuesday. This means the testing program is only able to identify an asymptomatic infection and isolate staff members for one day of the six days they would have been considered contagious by CDC guidelines. Not only is the, is the process flush with oversights and contradictions, it is outdated, unnecessary, and the purported benefits do not outweigh the enormous cost, inconvenience, and negative impact on students, staff, and Prince William County as a whole. Thank you.